wrist, wrist They used to call us misfits Now nah, I put that shit on, don't miss fits Going up just like the sunrise Well spoken, I don't get tongue tied We switch that show, bitch, sometimes Make hits, but that ain't sometimes Makes sense, I don't say dumb lies We're like it's two of me, both of us come by Hit it to Back in it and make it clear, it's your host Rob Lowe Bringing y'all Shot Spit Surprise 3 album review I love doing album review <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. How you feeling, bro? I'm good, man. I cannot complain. You know, blessed every day we get to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I want to ask you first, how do you feel like the project came out? I know rappers got their visions of how <laughs> things is going to sound, you know, when it all come together. Did it Did it come together how you thought it would? And that shit came together beautifully. You know what I'm saying? I, I really feel like everything flows together so effortlessly like water. Um. I enjoy playing it straight through, uh, back to back. Like I swear to you, it's something about the different feels I get between each song, and then like what I've gotten as far as receive uh, uh, feedback and some more. Like has been nothing but tremendous reviews as far as how I did it, um, wearing my heart on my sleeve on a few of them songs set heavily. Uh, it's just a, it's. I feel like I executed it perfectly, and then it was a minute. You know what I'm saying? It's the I ain't dropped the project in a little brick, so. With everything that's went down, um, putting all that together in, in that cohesive project, I, I really feel like I did that perfectly. Yeah, man, you, you wore your heart on your sleeve, man, but you ain't say you in love, though, right? That's, that's <laughs> you ain't gonna say you in love. That love letter jump, man. You, we talked about that on another interview, too. That was definitely one of my favorite songs. <laughs> Hey, you, man. Hey, pa. I don't want to say I'm in. Nah, for real. I don't want to. Uh, look, I don't want to say I'm in love But then that place becomes so safe when you find someone to trust Like for real, from all the times that came and fade away It's been a penny hard away, some changes I should make But ain't gonna lie, bro, I ain't start the day for you I give my heart away, and every last breath Just pour up a little Chardonnay for everyone left Lord knows I got some loved ones, wish I still had on this journey Swear it's hard, but thou shalt not die his direction when I'm turning Says you gotta take a leap of faith, you way past one Try and say the last dance, MJ and his last run Yeah, Kobe Bryant mindset it's all in your mentality, got everything I need, God's gift, it came naturally Thank my mom for having me and pops being a man Couldn't get them what I wanted, but then again, it's God's plan And I'm still right here with you, like what I'm gonna do Cause he's feeling on these tracks, and pray they feel his truth I'm like, I don't wanna say I'm in love All this gifts is from a feeling that we can't even touch It's the answer to the topics that we love to discuss But we still find a way to treat it like it ain't much But if it wasn't love, I wouldn't be doing this And they can never stop me, no matter who it is but truth is speaking, I don't want to say I'm in love yeah. I don't want to say I'm in love So, a hook like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, have you ever really, really went went there like that? Yeah, nah, no funny I Actually, uh, so when I started music, I was a singer, you know Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I started oh, right. the R&B side of things um, I, I got a project that's out now uh, That's all R&B It's called Still Love Always um we might be getting ready to drop the second installment of that too you know i don't know i'm gonna just keep that yeah. <laughs> throw that up in the air like an alley you and see if we dunk that eventually but uh -huh. uh, uh yeah nah like I, I i started off singing so i enjoy that part and i do that often it's some hidden tracks in the vault that ain't even been dropped yet you know we're gonna let them know real soon <laughs> i got the i got to look out for that man i seen um I was looking at the album breakdown. You had Love Letter. I think you had Condolences in the yes, first half, yeah. too. So I feel like the first half was more like a like a slow jam, like filling out process type of thing. Is uh, is that how you, you um, design the album to be laid out? Yeah. Uh, um, I, I, I can't really say that it was like I wanted the first half to be slow because I still got afforded in the first right. half. Um, Top Dog's pretty close, but it's actually Top Dog is at the bottom. Uh, um, I really just kind of like, we're just going off of vibes. So like one song may be here as far as emotion wise, I wouldn't want to keep you in that emotion for the next song. So like uh, it starts off with that's all. That's all is, is message wise. It's talking about more so getting through everything, no matter what, you know, that's all you know. 
but as far as tempo feel and stuff like that it's more of an upbeat you know what i'm saying kind of track and then right after that is love letter you get what i'm saying so like it's still not it's still everything but excuse me emotion wise you know we getting more into like the deeper aspect of shy spits when you get into love letter and then after that is a uh, boston baked beans it's basically about like you know the, having an odd taste for females you know <laughs> We good on that one. And hey, uh, put the under, hey, that deep tone on hey, the chorus in the beginning, uh, too. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, 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 all I see is you, oh baby, all I need is you Say that you already like outside, try not to sound like Mr. Me Too You know, <laughs> in my opinion, um, and I use Boston Baked Beans as a reference for like, you know I you wanted know. to ask you about that too, I was, I was yeah. like, go ahead, go ahead Yeah, no funny, cause like, you know, we used to see people, I didn't like Boston Baked Beans I really did not like Boston Baked but I couldn't understand how people ate Boston Baked Beans as a candy I felt like you had a very odd taste to like Boston Big Beans. So I use that as my whole like mapping out for that song for my women um, that I feel like I've dealt with. It's not the typical taste, you know, of everything that everybody would just want in a woman and shit or vice versa for females out there, what you want in the male, like the the whole mantra that's set out, I ain't even a part of that. You know what I'm saying? My whole, my taste for it is way different, you know? So I use that as that reference. And then we go into afford it. And I believe uh, condolence type shit. So like it was, yeah, it's really like emotion based as far as choice. I just didn't want to give people the same emotion back to back to back. I wanted to keep those jumps going like a roller coaster for real, for real. So that's that's the way that I would say I mapped that joint out. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that um, for sure. And you said a couple of jumps that I fuck with afford it for real, for real. You definitely went up on that one. Um, Type shit. Type, type shit is my favorite jump. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> type shit is my favorite jump. Uh, type shit. Yeah, yeah, you got teed up in that one and the balls was sitting there. Your man's went off too. Who is that that was yeah. rapping with you? That's my dog, Spaceman, man. He actually uh, engineered the whole project for me too as well. Mm -hmm. I'll be uh, rapping over there at his studio he got. So uh, me and him done locked in on a lot of stuff we got coming too as well. So um, but that's my dog, man. Space man he did his goddamn thing, and he, him, and my niece are the only features on the project too. So, um, I'm I'm really glad that he did his thing the way that he did it. You know, because now I can keep that mantra going. I don't really I don't really have a lot of features normally on my projects, but I do have some collab projects I'm working on too as well. Shh. I keep mm -hmm. just one shit out there, but uh, nah, for real though, I, I'm really happy how he killed that motherfucker space man uh, what he say um he said uh he said uh, when and when coming up short thing a nigga done bumped his head with all these I got a session at 6 a.m. But I'm still on the spot talking about taking shot. And we ain't coming up short thinking nigga done bumped his head with all of these knots. Room like they call me spaceman. Right. She looking at me like she found a replacement. I I'm on whatever she on. I can okay. Alright, space. <laughs> hey, okay. Hey, he wasn't playing. You know, we standing on business. For sure, for sure. And so I would say type shit. Mm -hmm. Um Love Letter and it was one of a jump. I'ma think of it by the end of the show, but I want to get your what's your favorite song and then what's your top three? Man, I swear I get asked this question and I be like, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey now, hey, uh how uh how top is dog, my fault. Top yeah, yeah, dog, yeah. that's yeah, my third favorite. Top dog is a favorite. Top dog is a favorite for sure. Like in general, from all this fucking shit still on my checklist. Hard to celebrate whenever one boss get his check in. Doing big shit like yeah, that's that. Okay, what's next then? Been ahead of the game before they started talking next shit. I got 99 reasons why I'm top dog. <laughs> Niggas hate that they can't see me, so I'm outlaw. Good thing I don't do this shit for them. No, this ain't about y'all. I keep throwing punches and they landing. Now I'm south pole. Wait, just keep coming. 
combination lane was open, I'ma take it Get on the beat and he gon' cruise all the places I could take it If I ain't the one, then fuck they placement Ain't no one can be a replacement Face card, I remember faces Hit it, stay my nigga face Keep it on that John and I had to, um, and then type shit. Condolences has been getting real. So I'm mean, my favorites. My favorites, I would have to say, uh, is condolence. Um, only right that I get my condolences. I had to kill it to get it. Ain't nothing to mention. They already know this. Losing my love just made me go cold in my heart. It was already frozen. Give everything just to have them all back with this four. Ain't stopping the motion. Shine when I put on no lotion. I will equip for the pain and the pressure. You think that I took me a potion? Numb everything when that pink at the floor like it's no volcano in the ocean. I took my shot like I'm toting. Got the godliest horror is potent. To my chase on the beat, yeah, I'm always open. Okay, when they choose, they'll know I'm chosen. I gotta, I gotta, I just keep cooking up. I can't stay out the kitchen. See, I gotta take over as a head chef, cause they all got their recipe, but something missing. Feel like I should've been one of the X Men. I wonder in storms and whatever conditions. I try to show them I'm him before money, but you know when you pay, they gon' pay you attention. Type shit. Damn, I hate <laughs> this country because I fuck around and name the whole fucking project. Uh, Boston Baked Beans. Boston Baked Beans. So you, uh, you broke that down a little bit, but explain why they make top three. Yeah, it's, 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 that, it's that other side of me. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really go into it all the way, but if you listen to the chorus, I do do some harmonies as far as with what I'm saying. So, like, um, it's that other side of me that, matter of fact, that and then say yes. So Say Yes was the other like R&B style song that was on there. Um, and I, I the reason that they my favorites, like I said, is because it, it it opens up that other side of Shad of being like an R&B artist, a songwriter for that particular genre of music. Um, and how, how explicit can your stories about song creating get on, on this platform? Because <laughs> I got a crazy story. <laughs> I you go ahead. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a put my cam down and it's all you. I wasn't here. I wasn't here. I wasn't here. Like, look, um, kids do not do drugs at home and shit, right? But uh, I'll say we was uh, on some umbrellas and shit. Uh, I'm trying to be as cold name as possible. Um, had some mushrooms, you know what I'm saying, within the meal and stuff. And literally turned the beat on, bruh, and was just like feeling. Hold up, mushrooms is regular, man. That's that's a vegetable, man. What are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, some vegetables. <laughs> we had some vegetables and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we uh, we was well, I was, I was, I was, I talked to Mary Jane and had some uh, some mush, some mushrooms with my vegetable salad, and then you know some alcohol in the system. I was just trying to be all the way out of this world, bro. No. <laughs> um, so I walked into the booth and he turned that shit on and it was just like, big of the rocking, sonically sound right. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, nah, hold on, hold on, there you go, bro. I'm like, there you go, Taisha. Hey, I said, oh, wait. Heard niggas saying it night. I'm like, oh my fucking Hold god! Let me show you and I'm looking right at space. Me and right him on the same page, right? <laughs> at this point, space is standing up. He not even sitting in his seat no more, bro. Like he's standing in front of this shit, like. <laughs> so uh, uh, he had the salad too. Yeah. So look, he uh, <laughs> he uh, I was about to start doing the verse after I finished the chorus, right? But I had started changing my whole little delivery and shit, right? I'm like, nah, I ain't, I ain't feeling that. Nigga, space turned the mic on and said, stick to the script. <laughs> <laughs> bro, yeah, right up there, you like, when fuck he that. said that shit, bro, like, all right, hey, nah, you're right, you're right. Start your name, ain't like that, you know, like, I just stayed, I just stayed smack on the nigga said, hey, you know what's stick to the script. <laughs> It's the way that I the, the way the chorus go when I end up repeating this repeating the words wasn't just to repeat the words. It's literally about what you just said, like type shit. Like that open space could be whatever the fuck you want to say. Yeah, I'm partying type shit. You hear me? I'm turned up type shit. You hear me? I think <laughs> I'm back to work type shit. You hear me? Like that's that space is as far as like putting the song. That's what I'm thinking when I'm doing it like that and that repetitive because that's the way we deliver type shit. You know, like. Every time you're talking about it, you can literally say whatever the fuck you want in front of that shit, and you're gonna end it with type shit. 
You can start it off with type shit. Like, that's just what it is. <laughs> it ain't even me just trying to be repetitively saying the words. It's literally how it is for us as far as how we do it. But that's definitely my... Uh, I already knew that was going to be one of my favorites when I fucking recorded the jump, bro. I'm, I was going crazy in the studio with <laughs> that goddamn song, bro. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> I got I just posted some shit on my page and stuff, too, uh, about that. As far as uh, making that jump, I had my niece in the studio with me. She's recording and everything, you know what I'm saying, with the camera. She got her own little experience to rap behind the mic. That's one thing I'm real big on, like, just exposing uh, the family into that world of just knowing that you can do different things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even trying to make them be an artist or a, a musician. I just want them to know that whatever it is that you want to do and put your mind to it, you can do that. You're watching your uncle do it. You can do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Big message right there. Shout out, what's her name? Trayvana. She um, held that job. Rap name too? Huh? Rap name too? I, we haven't developed the rap name. So oh I, shit! When I put when I put her feature, she's featured on the jump though. It says feature Ivana, so I used her nickname and stuff like that. Yeah, we might Damn. keep it there, you know, <laughs> like you know, funny. <laughs> keep it there, Ivana, forever, you know. But right now, that is her rap name. <laughs> Ivana, that's what's up. That's what's up. Shout out to her, man. Yeah. Shout out to you for for providing that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you got what I want to talk about next. Fro fro is the the cover. The <laughs> cover picture. How the cover picture comes out, gets the people going. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, you you want you really want to know how that story came about? Bro, I was uh, doing some streaming with my homies and stuff, and uh we was just talking and I hadn't I hadn't come up with the cover idea for um you know what I'm saying? Surprise. So we just literally, I'm talking to him. I'm like, man, I should probably think of some crazy ass shit for this cover now, but we joking. Like this isn't like serious. This is all jokes and shit. So I'm like, man, I'm thinking about like some rough, you know how rough riders and shit used to be back in the day on their covers, bro. With the big ass pants and all that on the joke shirt off, uh, 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 had some big ass dog and shit right in front of him and stuff. Right. He was like, my man was like, yup. You got to do that shit. You got to have some big ass Tims or something on, bro. I was like, nah, I got some Nike boots. I was like, we got Nike boots. He was, I was, uh, he was like, he said, uh, he said, what about Coco? And I had just got my cat. I had just got uh, the house cat and uh, shit. So I'm like, oh, I was like, I'm about to get Coco. I'm going to put a, a chain or something around her neck. <laughs> Hold her like they do the dogs on the leash, but it's just going to be a cat. <laughs> and I was, look. No, funny, it didn't even come all the way together because it's supposed to be me, uh, my big homie, and my other big homie. When I say big homie, I'm talking about in size. So, like, we always going to be on the cover uh, um, with no shirts on, fucking cat uh, on the joke. And at first, it wasn't going to be Surprise Three's cover. Like I said, it was a joke. So, we joking around, and I forgot what we said our name was, like, the three men something. What the fuck did we say? The three cat lovers or some stupid ass shit. <laughs> but we knew that if something like that were to like hit the internet at a a, a high rate and frequent weight, frequent rate, it would be something that's talked about, you know what I'm saying, heavily. So like when I first posted that joke, I got nothing but responses back, you know, females crazy, dudes like, what the fuck is you doing? <laughs> and then to be honest with you, either way, whether you liked it or not, you tapped in. You know what I'm saying? You literally yeah, tapped you in. You paying attention. You paid attention to it, and I haven't even done my mass promotions yet. I still got a few uh, content runs that I got putting together, um, and then I got some spots as far as placements that I know once that picture gets put in them places, the comments just going to go crazy off of that alone, and then that's going to make you want to go listen to the project. Okay. Then you go go listen, and the project holds its own. You know, that's the whole point of it. It's like, you want me to probably be some shit looking at that goddamn, like, what the <laughs> fuck is this nigga doing? Like, right. You probably, you probably hell, think you're you going to get listen. a laugh out of it when you listen. Then you go listen, it's like, ha, ah, okay. All right, okay. That, that, dude, that's smart. That's hey, <laughs> I ain't going to hold you. I tell this story a lot, bro. Names and covers is important. Like, yeah. that's, that's why. I, I was giving um I was listening to Lil Baby before he blew up. Cause yeah. his name, I seen his name on the jump. I was like, what the fuck? 
<laughs> Look, and then that hole. All the right. Fuck, that hole with the fuck be the reason that you tap in. Like uh-huh. that hole. And then I with heard the, the freestyle, and I'm like, oh, this nigga nice. <laughs> I'm like this nigga nice. We, I think I think we just came up with a, a whole name that we could uh, say to start it here. And I guarantee we're gonna probably hear it in the future. I know I'm gonna keep using it, but it's gonna be called "What the Fuck Marketing." They're not gonna understand until you explain it. We like all you need is a "What the Fuck" moment, and then capitalize on that shit after every time you come up with a "What the Fuck" moment, some "What the Fuck" content that make every person look at it say, "What the fuck." Capitalize on it after by having something to follow up with, and they're gonna tap in. Fact, fact. But, but it's a it's a slippery slope too. You gotta let the people know, you know what I'm saying, not to lose yourself with them. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of people sure. would take that and skate yeah. way too far away from it. You know what I'm saying? See, when I, that's the thing to you, right? Because when I be talking about stuff, I be thinking about me and like how I would use a what the fuck marketing moment, and I ain't going, you know what I'm saying, too far with anything, you know, but. You're right. If you really think about it, uh, what the fuck marketing is a real thing already. They just haven't named it. But people have it in a way of there's no limits to it. You know what I'm saying right now? Like everybody, it's almost like the clout chasing. But I don't want to affiliate that because my what the fuck moment of thinking is not going to be a clout chasing what the fuck thinking because I still enjoy. I actually do have a cat. You hear me? We actually be no funny. Like we I'm actually, actually down with the cat. You hear me? Like I'm actually <laughs> cool with all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like this ain't nothing that I was forced to do. You know, <laughs> or like just doing to try to get some views and clicks. Like nah, I really fuck with all that shit that you're saying. Like that's what the fuck it is too. You know, Nike boots was a reason because I'm from DC. You know, uh, I got the wizard shirt on. Like all that shit was because I wanted to do that shit. But like you said. Right. A lot of it today when it comes to them what the fuck moments is not like it don't even be about if you like it or if it aligns with your morals and shit like that they just doing it just to do it so they know they're gonna get some clicks i couldn't be that oh, guy shit. so like like bro said don't do what the fuck marketing in that form okay yeah, make it's sure a, it's a line between you are okay yeah, yeah, it's a line yeah. between being doing like like you said doing too much for the clout and yeah. being creative there you go if you're not creative, you just going to fall into the stack exactly. with everybody else. So you no got point. to stand out on something. And that's what you did with this album, man. Everybody got to go listen to that one. Please go listen. Please go listen. I'm trying to tell you. That's been going crazy. Number good reviews. We got them videos about to drop soon. I'm waiting for the stream number to hit to a certain jump. Then we're going to start dropping the videos, too, again. Like, I'm going to drag this oh. out until my next project, which actually is real soon. So don't think when I say that. <laughs> don't, don't think. How the fuck are you going to say I'm going to drag this out, out to my next project? Look, look, look. joke next week. Nigga. You hear me? Look, look. <laughs> you make it seem like it's going to be forever, and then boom, here goes the new project. <laughs> OT, what's up with that two strand retwist, man? That's what you're talking about. So it's definitely on the way. Like, Okay. I, I feel like new, Two Strand Retour is going to be my uh, my Mecca album. It's going to be my album with a compilation of everything, you know what I'm saying, of me all in one. And then some more shit that I'm I'm in the midst of cracking right now with some new sounds and stuff like that. Uh, I want it to be like the rawest of raw. Like get it, don't get it twisted. Um, uh, how can I say this about Surprise 3? It was a very raw project, a very felt project, feels-wise, uh, uh, motivated, intentional, and some more shit. Uh, but it was, what's the word I'm looking for? It was me. Now, it was me in a way of what I'm used to doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm a phenomenal-ass artist um, to the point where I knew I was going to kill them tracks before they even fucking started. You know what I'm saying? Because they, like, right up my lane, they my feel, you know. So when it comes to two strand retwist, it's gonna be a lot of new feels on that jump when it comes to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna be doing the most experimenting, uh, or I'm doing the most experimenting that I've been doing, I've ever done when it comes to music for two strand retwist. Um, so I'm describing that as my mecca album. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be the the cream of the crop, the top of the top. Uh, uh, the one that really shows every inch and aspect of me as an artist is going to be that type of project. 
Because even with Super Surprise and all that, I still feel like I got more to give them. You know what I'm saying? So with that, okay. You know, so even okay. with that, like I, I, I know that's what Two Strand Retwist is. Like it's gonna be that real life refresh, get all that new growth. You know what I'm saying? Together and some more shit, we're gonna be good to go. But Two Strand gonna be the Mecca album. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it, it's just the first time too that I'm saying this shit. So it's gonna be crazy to have this clip because. Surprise is going to keep building that. And then, well, shit, it's going to be like at least three to four. I got to stop saying what mm. happened in the middle and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, so, you know, surprise is going to keep it going. There's some other steps in the middle and then, bam, two strand retwist. There you go. There you go. You got, you got to save a little bit for them, man. Yeah. Like, for example, like, you talking about two strand retwist. I got a one strand twist right here. Yeah. I'm about to hit you know all me, me and you both. Mine's already pre rolling. I, I was in the middle of rolling up another one, too. Do you hear me? My bad. My bad. <laughs> hey, you got to come through for another show, man. You already yeah. know you invited when the uh, when the next jump drop. But yeah, yeah, come yeah. through for the picks, man. The people want to hear them picks, man. Yeah, man definitely. Uh, Keep sending them jumps to me, too, bro. No funny. So I, whenever I can, just pull up. I pull up. No funny. Bad, bad, bad. I holla at you, man. Be safe. All right, y'all. Shout out, we've been scheming from the pound. And it's F-R-E-E, -E, cause of Tony till he fucking homebound. Rizzy calling from the hospital bed while I was writing this. I stopped everything that I was doing to give her life and shit. Her smile did everything for us both, but what's ironic is, it's time for me to be the one to check and I'm back to writing this. All this fucking shit still on my checklist. Hard to celebrate whenever one boss get his check in. Doing big shit like, yeah, that's that. Okay, what's next then? Been ahead of the game before they started talking next shit i got 99 reasons why i'm top dog <laughs> niggas hate that they can't see me so i'm outlaw good thing i don't do this shit for them no this ain't about y'all i keep throwing punches and they landing now i'm south pole wait just keep coming combination lane was open i'ma take it get on the beat and he gonna cruise all the places i could take it find the one that fuck they placement ain't no one can be a replacement face card i remember faces hit it stay my nigga face keep it 100 can't rock with it if you kept it 98 Heard that shit and it was cool, but at a minimum we great If I'm here, I'm right on time, don't talk to me about being late So my style drip hit different, now she dripping like a lake Don't need no ice, it's real life burst, sometimes I wish that I could move fake They get some ice, don't change you corny, Tony put frosting on flakes I know I got it, whatever it takes, can't get a slice when we baking a cake But I got it all, I can get put in the safe, not from here like good day mate I done made my mark and all this shit, that ain't no question Kill it and don't wait around for no talking or no refreshments I mean you keep talking and I hear you, but where your best friend? Yeah. I done came to fuck up the game like it's destined. Yes. I, I, I got 99 reasons why I'm top dog. <laughs> Niggas hate it, they can't see me, so I'm outlaw. Oh, Good thing I don't do this shit it's for them, no, this ain't about y'all. I keep throwing punches and they landing, now I'm South Pole. Wait, just keep coming, combination lane was open, I'ma take it. Get on the beat and he gon' cruise all the places I could take. If I ain't the one, then fuck they placement. Ain't no one can be a replacement. Face card, I remember faces. Hit it, stay my nigga face. <laughs> nah, you hear me? Should be crazy, bro. He's real life only. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.